こ,にこちら側に書いてあるっていうのはプロテスタント側が書いてるわけですよね。We're now in Conway Street, and I remember this particular street in 1969 as a 16 year old. I remember the gunfire coming from the Shankle, which is only 50 metres ahead of us here. You can actually see the dividing peace wall. And I just remember running, jumping into the houses to get down out onto the safety of the Falls Road at that particular time. Quite an experience, but uh, it, and we encourage people to feed back to us and say, yes, your tour was good. That's, I think, to be fair to a lot of people. Um, they may not, at that particular stage, ha have had a, a, a complete uh, picture of the conflict in Ireland. It's emotional, um, but there's been much more things that have happened since then, um, between then and now, that it must be much more emotional. Um, when, when I relate to the hate blocks and the hunger strikes and the comrades who I knew, spent time with, who actually died on hunger strike, that, that to me is very, very emotional. That's raw, that's like yesterday. Although it's 28 years ago, that's very, very raw. You wouldn't consider going through these gates yourself and doing the tour on the other side? It wouldn't be practical. I wouldn't be talking about a, 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 a coming from a unionist perspective. Um, so that's why ex loyalist ex-prisoners would do that. Right, right, 20 years ago, you'd have been trying to kill each other. That's correct, but right. times move on. There's a whole new political dispensation here in Ireland at the moment. Projects such as this help that understanding. We need them to do that. Without the fear of being killed, without the fear of being blown up, you know, all those things that, that the conflict, you know, um, draw on a history of the centuries, whereas in the Protestant community... I was in prison for attempted murder, but, I mean, that may sound, you know, uh, really, um, what would you call it, um, bizarre to, at this particular time, but in that, in 1970, thousands of young men went to prison. I will always say that that was a lost generation. Best ones I ever done. See the Koreans? Tourists from all over the world will come here and they'll write a message. Well, I can see one here from yes. uh, Sarah Nicholas from Australia. Oh, yeah, they, they, yeah there's plenty of Aussies. Uh, Kind of an odd thing. I, I think it would make more sense to see locals coming to sign the wall instead. So, and that would make it a peace wall <laughs> for sure. It may seem strange that years after the Good Friday Agreement was signed, although there was political progress and measurable, as chaotic as it may sometimes be, here at the interface where Catholic meets Protestant, these walls are still as they were. In fact, they've been more built because the people here see them not as dividing communities, but protecting them.
Well, the 12th of July is a special occasion in the year. It's one of the most important days for me in the year. As you can see, it's a great carnival, a great festival. You only need to look at the parade itself and see there the artistry of the banners, the, the music of the bands, the colour of the occasion, the great crowds that are out. It's a family occasion. You have grandparents, parents, children. It's a day, really, that uh, could be enjoyed by anyone. You can see things are getting very tense here. The marches are expected to come up through this area, a Catholic area, very soon. And uh, there's a large police presence trying to hold the Catholic protesters back. And uh, this is just an expression of the sort of tension this day evokes. And at the moment, it's getting very rough. What's this say about the peace process? The peace process is solid. The political process is solid. Let us not exaggerate what happened here. These are small micro groups who incidentally came together when they thought they saw the opportunity uh, to bring down uh, the peace process in a single incident, in a single night. They will not uh, achieve that. They will feel, they have already failed. They are a field entry. They have no strategy. They are going nowhere. It's very important not to, and it's even important for the Australian broadcasting media not to distort what happened over the last couple of days from the overall uh, picture, which has, I think, been a very good news story worldwide for some uh, 15 years. The soldiers who died were both in their 20s. They were off duty. They were unarmed. This attack was an echo of the past. A gun assault on an army base. The killers still haven't been caught. He was my life. My son and my husband were my life. And I just feel now that I'm dead inside. We have to see all of this in a proper perspective. The big story out of the killings of the last number of weeks has been the way in which the political process has come together to repudiate the activities of the, those who would try to plunge us back into the past. You cannot compare under any circumstances the way things are today from where they were 15 or 20 years ago. We are in a fundamentally different and better place.
in a perfect world, it would be great to see peace. But let's face it, it's Belfast, Northern <laughs> Ireland, and it's, no, it's never going to be peace here. No, definitely not. For everyone's sake, it's best just to keep the wall up, to keep a peace. Uh, if you pull that wall down, there will be murder, mayhem, there will be blood spilt. You can guarantee now, yeah. there will be big, big trouble. So we're just coming on dark now. Is this about when the rioting would start when you were young? Yes. When they falls and the rain falls, that's when we come out. So it is. They come out. I don't trust anyone. I wouldn't trust anyone in my and life. the chances of peace? There's no peace here, and there'll never be peace. But that's a pretty pessimistic view, isn't it? Well, I'm the one living on the peace line, I know. I've seen it. You will always have your fractions. This place is like, like a Palestinians and the Israelis. This is the same scenario. Is that, what's that, the school time? Yeah. How long did that take off? How do you feel about this wall now? Would you like to see it down? Well, it's ugly, it's horrible, but at the moment, it's necessary. You know, it's, uh, in my mind, uh, walls aren't only physical, aren't only made of mortar or steel or wire, but there's also walls of prejudice and uh, there's walls that were built 300 years ago here and are still here in legislation and in prejudice and bigotry, so those are the walls that are going to have to go down first. People would be on each side of the road and the police and military vehicles would be forming 3rd of November. Each side of the road. I was terrified. And I was terrified not for myself so much, but I was terrified some child was going to be killed or very badly injured. And with that, a, a live device, a bomb was thrown over. In that split second, it dawned on me, this is beyond anything that anyone could have imagined. We were always very conscious that once we got through the gate, they moved without looking left or right, right into the school. Now that terrible period is over, but the conflict isn't over, is it? No, I think this is one of the, one of the very sort of worrying aspects that I think I've learned so much from this. I think peace is, is, is very much a gradual process, and I think there is genuinely a move forward, but there's always the danger of slipping back. to perform the action. Joanna, put your hand up. What's he doing? He's singing. He's singing, is that right? When we've, added, when we've added the ING, I've left a gap between. If it was a Catholic school, only Catholics could go there. And what do you think about that? Um, I don't know. Do, do you think that's a good idea or not? I don't think it is because it's good to let other people in your school. Do you think about if they're a Catholic or a Protestant or does no, it? it doesn't really matter.
scenery in the backdrop. It's probably one of the nicest settings for a school you could believe. I mean, people are opposition from government, opposition from parents, opposition from churches, but a total belief that having children educated together is sensible. Not, <laughs> it shouldn't be something that's different. It should be the total norm in any normal society. And yet, there's only about five percent of. Yes. Northern Ireland children in schools like this? Yes, uh, basically uh, I regret to say our politicians and uh, our senior civil servants and our people who have come over from English rule have not seen the value uh, and, uh, and don't want to upset the local politicians I, I think by ensuring that most schools should be integrated. And yet for you it's a no-brainer? Total no-brainer. I'm just recreating a picture of Bobby. It's a mural I did several, well, many years ago on the Falls Road. And then just touch it, touch it up. But in the main, it's in still in good neck, like. Yeah, good idea. Is it now? I think you could crack one. Okay, you can do the top of this time, though. What do you think? What do you think? I think we need to undercoat this wee bit again. Strip back that flaky bits. It's probably just because of it. We totally uh, are appalled by the issue of sectarianism, where young people are divided divided apart because of their religion. In fact, the irony is, me and Mark live about 100 yards from each other, you know I mean? and we'd never met each other. Uh, his father would have been the same age as mine, and again, we probably, when we did meet, we got on very well together. We have so much in common. Do you worry it could descend back to the bad old days again? You've always got that worry, but I, I can't see sort of how that could happen. I think we've moved too far forward, and I think that the general populace don't want it. They just want to live a normal, peaceful life and get on with their lives. I you know? don't think anybody wants to go back to the way it was. Uh, have you had any luck convincing him about the unionist cause and, and vice versa? <laughs> no. <laughs> but we agree to disagree. People still are fundamentally distrustful of each other. And I think that's why we have so many peace walls, now peace walls in quotes, in Belfast. It's bridges we need to build in this society, and yet we're very poor bridge builders. We're actually brilliant here in Belfast at building walls. Uh, those walls are obviously uh, something that we would like to see removed. And I think as the political process goes from strength to strength, uh, that the day will come. But I think that decision has to be in the hands of the people who uh, live on both sides of the walls. Our job is to, within the political process, uh, continue to uh, 
make the gains that I know the vast majority of people uh, welcome, uh, build a better future that, that our people uh, want to see, and build a, a situation where people feel comfortable uh, to remove those walls. <laughs>